Did you know awakening to the power of the soul can give you your best life? Hi, I'm Philip Mountrose with my wonderful wife and partner, <laughs> Jane. And we are Hi, everybody. longtime holistic coaches and energy healing pioneers and directors of Awakenings Institute. And our life's work is really focused on exploring and connecting and sharing about awakening to the soul and living by its light and guidance, which in this webinar, this first of three, we're going to talk about and explore. And uh, this webinar uh, supplements accompanies the training manual, the book uh, that we wrote uh, that comes with the program here called Awaken to the Power of Your Soul, uh, a roadmap for reaching your full potential. Now, the soul is always with us, but it can be sort of dormant for a while, especially as we're starting off in life and just show up at certain times. And it can be hidden and ignored until we hear its calling uh, more and more as we get older. And that occurs at different times to different people. And if you listen to the soul, good things happen as we will explore. And if you ignore it, you can feel very stressed and separate and even um, pretty stuck after a while. But when you do wake up to the soul's presence, uh, uh, you give it, it your attention and the voice of the soul starts to ring beautifully musically uh, through your life and miracles can happen then and more meaning and purpose emerges. So today in this webinar, the first of three in the Awaken to the Power of Your Soul program here, um, we're going to focus on the preparation, especially in the three parts of, of the program, and especially preparation of awakening to your soul. And we're also going to include a demonstration of a cornerstone process, soul centering. Uh, and so stay tuned for the whole webinar. It's filled with a lot of important information, techniques, strategies you can put to use it immediately and help you awaken to the power of your soul. Uh, Jane, did you want to add anything to that, by the way? Well, I think we'll be obviously going into it much more. It's just, to me, the, it, this is the most transformational thing I've ever experienced in my whole life. Mm -hmm. And now, 30 years later, it still was a turning point when, when we learned how to connect with the soul. And we'll be talking about that. So, and it has been for many other people too. It's not just us, <laughs> by the way. Right. Everyone has a soul. <laughs> Everyone's awakening at different stages. And this is a, one of these rare manual how-to ways of, uh, of making, implementing that in your life in an easy, elegant way. So let me just give a, a, a description of this program, the the webinar that you're, you're listening to, you're attending right now, uh, and the book that accompanies it, the, the training manual. In Awaken to the Power of the Soul, a roadmap for realizing your full potential, Philip and Jane Mountrose provide a comprehensive overview of science, ancient wisdom, and emerging holistic practices that when combined can offer life-changing results. Jane and Philip offer real-life examples. We'll offer some today. Thought-provoking questions and complete step-by-step -step directions for uh, the guide readers through their own process of exploration, awareness, and expansion. Time spent working through awakening to the power of the souls akin to exploring several courses with the Mount Roses, including Soul Centering, which we're going into today, the EFT, Emotional Freedom Techniques, and Spiritual Kinesiology. That was Dr. Ruth Anderson, one of our friends and colleagues, the founder of Enlightened World Network. So let's talk about some of the benefits. You know, why do this? Why awaken to your soul? Why is it so important to discover this? Maybe begin a little bit with our story, Jane. Yeah, it was years ago. I was an architect and Philip was an educator. And we actually had been on a spiritual path for a while. And in fact, we're, we met each other actually in a spiritual organization where the leader was the purveyor of truth. Mm -hmm. And we were the followers of the purveyor of truth. <laughs> right. Until after many years, actually, in the organization, we, it occurred to us, well, if he has the truth, why can't we have the truth? Right. <laughs> so we left the organization and set out to find the truth for ourselves. And over actually a period of a few years, we were exposed to a number of different things into intuition and channeling and different techniques that were somewhat interesting and effective, but not really like solidly 
definitively effective. And then we came across, we were just fortunate uh, to come across some spiritual teachers who we actually then studied with for several years after that, um, who taught us this process for connecting to the soul directly, mm -hmm. something we never really knew was possible. And it, it, is, it is a way that you can tell for sure that you've done it. It's tangible, um, it's realizable, and the effects are dramatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really are. And that takes us to these benefits of why uh, it's so important, it's so useful, so valuable. At a certain point, it becomes a priority to uh, awaken to the power of the soul. Um, we'll cover each of these briefly, accessing your inner wisdom and guidance, which I'm sure many people who are interested in this, <laughs> that's a big factor. Uh, it's interesting with the soul because it helps you have more acceptance on the one hand, because a lot of things are very difficult to accept, as we know, yet the soul is there to support us. And it's also there to direct us and guide us. So um, it helps us see what's beneath the surface. Uh, a person who has uh, practiced the soul centering and connecting the way we've teach, teach this and the way we're teaching it here today and in the program, Sandy Close, an educator in uh, Oregon, reported that before she started doing the soul centering, um, and we're going to do an example of that today in this webinar, her, before her heart was closed and cautious, the way she described it, and now a few years after practicing uh, soul centering and this approach along with other healing tools like holistic EFT and spiritual kinesiology, which we cover later in this program. Uh, uh, Sandy can now access herself at a much deeper level. Uh, her morning soul centering routine helps her uh, be, a, be the person she really wants to be. Uh, so regardless of life's challenges, we know we're going to have those challenges. She knows she can get through it. And she's also, by the way, manifested a new house in a new city where she wanted to live. So there's one benefit. Uh, Jane? Stress and anxiety are, it's, it's like an epidemic, I think, in our society. Mm -hmm. And when what we discovered also is when you feel stressed and anxious, you're not in a resourceful state for reaching your full potential, for enjoying life, for much of anything. Right. Um, and it also means you're out of touch with the center of your being, which is your soul. And, and your soul speaks its truth. It's very simply through the heart. And we'll be going into that a lot. Um, so it understands what's right for you. It's like your inner compass. As Philip mentioned, it helps you to access your inner wisdom and guidance, which is where we really started. And so much more. We're going to, we're going to go into more right here. Um, I think using the power of the soul really to reduce stress and anxiety is, is extremely effective and mm -hmm. um, it's illuminating and it's also very helpful. We'll be going into the health benefits in a bit here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very practical awakening to the power of your soul. Build, the third part is here is building confidence since the soul is non-judgmental as opposed to our own inner critic and inner uh, putting ourselves down. It's supportive and it will help you uh, get through life and feel better about yourself and be more creative in the process. Uh, another uh, person that we introduced this approach to years ago, Marian Hakata, who's now a spiritual teacher and, and Reiki trainer. Uh, at first she was extremely shy. I mean, she would be afraid to talk when her, and she took one of our classes with eight people at the time, and she was very afraid to talk in front of eight people. Now she teaches classes and feels very good about herself. And she describes the soulful approach uh, and soul centering, which we're going into more today. An example uh, has made such a difference in her life for the past 20 years. I mean, this is, we've been teaching this for many years. So this program is the culmination of many things we've learned and explored and tested that you can discover for yourself. And she, uh, she says, I don't know where I'd be without connecting so directly with the soul regularly. And Marion continues, it helps me be my heart-centered best. Uh, it's been incorporated into my life and work for many years now where I can release judgments. That's a big thing, releasing judgments and restrictions and showing others how to do so. So that's part of this. Um, and then changes and transformations can occur 
rapidly. So I share this knowledge and approach with students. It's not just about me, it's about them. Jane? Yeah, yeah, for me, that was a big thing. And it's interesting, there's a lot you can't expect and you might actually get some very simple truths that seem so simple, you think, well, that can't be right. You know, <laughs> it's so simple and just short. Um, but the, the heart, the heart and soul, you could say, understand the truth of who you are. You're just a wonderful spiritual being. We all are. Mm -hmm. And when you understand that and that there's no competition and there's no reason why you should be anyone other than who you are, everything changes. And I, I think in terms of building confidence, that was really great for me mm -hmm. because it's easy, very easy. have to pardon the loud mouth. Um, <laughs> It's very easy to, to judge yourself as being too young, too old, too short, not mm -hmm. educated enough, not this, not that, when actually you came here for a reason and your reason is to be yourself. So mm -hmm. it just changes everything. Mm -hmm. um, then going on to the <laughs> confidences, that's a big one for me. Um, the improving health and well being, it's interesting now. Uh, there's a science related to the mm -hmm. heart and recent science has shown uh, things like as our hearts become clear with filling with love and gratitude, amazing things happen. Our heart rhythm shift, bringing the whole body into a new state of harmony. So this is reducing stress more too. Opening the heart has numer numerous practical benefits. It reduces stress, stress, relaxes organs, producing positive effects that even offset the effects of aging. Then just returning to stress, stress actually can be a killer. It's been associated to just about every imaginable chronic disease. Mm -hmm. And the love and happiness we hold in our hearts have the opposite effects. In other mm -hmm. words, they actually promote health and well-being. Clearing, clear, loving hearts also engage the higher cognitive functioning of the brain and increase intuitive awareness. Um, with practice, also, and it is worth practicing regularly, the heart, you build an intelligence in the heart. Um, it actually possesses a complexity that is greater than the brain in our head that we value so much. And it, it creates a state of coherence with the brain, bringing the heart and head into harmony rather than uh, there's that kind of typical phrase, my head says yes, but my heart says no, or vice versa where they're out of sync with each other. And actually when you bring them together, you're more coherent within yourself. So it, it's actually, it is, science is showing that there are tremendous benefits. And I actually, to me, it's like the heart. <laughs> if, you, if you look at the new frontier, this is the, the new frontier for mm -hmm. man to explore. Mm -hmm. Humans, us humans, men and women. Yes. <laughs> Further benefits, Humankind. your thinking, uh, thinking better, thinking more clearly. So if you're more soul connected, that's going to, to sharpen your, your, your mental acuity, what to focus on, what's important, what's not important, how to have better beliefs, a more positive approach, realistically and optimistically approach too, not just sort of pie in the sky. So it will ground you as well as sharpen your thinking. Mm -hmm. Right. Then the next one, connect with guides and angels. That's another benefit is recognizing that there are higher beings who are here to support us, who are looking out for our well-being at all times. Mm -hmm. And of course, you can have conversations uh, with them. We talk about that in the, in the book um, about how to develop those relationships and just know they're there. To me, that's very um, I guess just it makes me feel much more relaxed with my life to know that there are guides and angels who are helping to direct the journey and, and, and to keep me safe. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, the last benefit we, we list here is understanding life purpose and plan, which to me is one of the most important benefits. So we have passions things are awakened, things we really like, and, and we, we wonder what to do with them. How do we channel them? How do we use them? And that's where the soul comes in because it will help us uh, identify and develop our gifts and interests. 
part of the soul is the way of embodying that passion. What are your passions? What is your bliss? Um, and that takes us to that our soul plan, which could be a variety of ways of achieving what we're here to do. And it generally has something to do with learning and growing and healing and helping others. And all of that is part of awakening to the power of the soul. Jane, anything you want to add? Um, to me, the idea that we come into this life with, with a purpose and a plan is very in, enticing and interesting. And when you think about it, all of the different things that have happened in your life, the times when, when something, things just happened to come together, you were guided to something, it was just the right thing for that next step. Like, well, like when Philip and I found the spiritual teachers who got us really mm -hmm. started in the direction of where we have gone for the last 30 years. Um, that was a very, to me, fluid and synchronous event that really that transformed our lives. And it's hard to imagine that <laughs> there's this big plan and that also that there isn't just one option in mm -hmm. the plan. It's not like it's faded. Mm -hmm. you, you're here with free will. So like your soul might be saying, well, you know, this would be the best thing. And you decide to take a different path. You're still on the journey and you're still in the perfect place to take your next step. So it's multidimensional. I think it's, I don't know if we could actually understand the intricacy of it <laughs> mm -hmm. to bring, you know, those different forces together at the perfect time in our lives. But I, mm -hmm. I think we all sense that it, that does happen. Right. Pretty miraculous. It is. So we're, we're going along the first part of the training manual. There's a picture of this nice cover Jane did awaken to the power of your soul. And that's a step-by-step um, uh, strategies. There's a whole smorgasbord, a collection, because some people will relate to some more than others that we've tested and worked out, plus some valuable information. So the overview, which we call realizing your dream and something I'm going to take you through in a moment, an inner strength experiment. Part of this is accessing your full range of possibilities. 